People tend to spend their Labor Day weekend enjoying the last bit of summer by traveling and camping. But the Department of Wildlife has a warning for anyone planning to camp in Kansas. KSNT News reporter Dan Garrett joins us live to tell us what that warning is. Dan? Jace at Lake Shawnee, campers will use lots of firewood to toast s'mores and tell stories. But the Department of Wildlife is asking you to leave your logs at home and buy at the campground. Warren Hall is setting up his campsite to camp this weekend with his grandson. Just relaxing, going fishing. Hall is a local farmer, so he is aware of the growing epidemic of the emerald ash borer. The beetle has been spreading from the Great Lakes region across the country. Once in an area, they kill the ash trees, like the ones on Hall's farm. It spreads by moving wood from county to county or state to state. Even though the beetles have already been seen in Kansas, the Department of Parks and Wildlife wants to slow the spread. The Department of Agriculture does not want that uh, little bug to spread because it does affect our, our woodlands. They ask anyone who is camping to leave the wood from home at home and buy it at the campground. Even if you think your logs are bug free, Hall says that they still might be housing the beetles. Like the elm beetles or the bore clear into the heart of the wood and the sap and that's what, into the heartwood and that's what kills it. Ron Kaufman says that there are ways to treat the trees after they are infested, but it's costly. Trying to treat an entire forest is a pretty overwhelming task. So quarantine and, and uh, is the most effective. Just stop the spread rather than try to treat it. Kaufman says that Labor Day weekend is one of the busiest times for campgrounds, so it is important for you to do your part this weekend. Kaufman suggests that if you do accidentally bring wood from an outside area, to just go ahead and burn it anyway. Live at Lake Shawnee, Dan Garrett, KSNT News. All right, Dan, thank you. And we have a link on our website that will show you which areas are under quarantine and more information about the beetles and the damage that they cause. That's KSNT.com.